I say Sahih International says a lot of, uh, you know, uh, put a lot of things in, in uh, what is it, in bracket, and they say uh, uh, a lot of many uh, different things as well, okay? So th th this cough is not disbelieved. They just say that it is disbelieved. I have given you many, many verses that uh, like chapter, what I said, chapter 98, verse 6. Brother Rashid, do you think that it makes sense that indeed, they who commit kof among the people of the scripture. So if it is disbelieved, then how can people be uh, disbelieving what? The among people of scripture, okay? And the polities will be in hellfire, uh, abating entirely. So if people of scripture, Anton, are disbelievers, either they are all disbelievers or some of them, uh, sorry, or, or none of them. So how can... Allah says, those who commit kufr among the people. You understand, I said, I gave you the example that among Americans, there are races. It doesn't mean that all Americans are racist. So you understand from the grammar of the language, I am talking about the portion of Americans. Yes? Am I right or not? When I say among Americans, there are racist. Okay? Yes, Am I understand? Yes, yes. So, so among, right. here, here it says, among the people of scripture and the polities uh, who commit cough. So cough, when it says also committing cough, okay? It, it so, says most of them. Mo most of them will be cough. No, this, this, no, not uh, all of them, but most of no, them. No, no, this is 98 verse 6. That was not verse 1683, that most disbelievers are kafir. So, they recognize the favor of Allah, then they deny it. Who are they, Anton? They are those who deny the favor of Allah. They, those who deny the favor of Allah, they are disbelievers. And then it says that, and most of them are kafir. So either disbelievers, all of them are kafir, or none of them are kafir. So here it says most of them are kafir. So it is about disbelievers. This is not talking about uh, Christians, it's not talking about Jews, it's not... Am I right, Brother Rashid, or not? 1683. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 1683. And 98, verse 6, it says, those who commit kof among the people of scriptures and the polities will be in hellfire. So, again, and then when you put these verses beside other verses uh, that I have read before, that... Uh, uh, there are good Christians who are among the righteous people. Yeah, Allah says, uh, let me bring for you. So you see that Allah is not talking about all Christians and Jews, okay? Chapter 3, verse 113. Not all of them are alike. Of the people of the book are a person that stand for the right. They rehearse the verse of God all night long, and they prostrate themselves in ad adoration. Next verse, they believe in God and the last day they enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong and they hasten in emulation in all good works. They are in the ranks of the righteous. Okay, next verse, and whatever good they do, never, uh, never will it be removed from them and Allah is knowing all uh, of the righteous. So, you see here, Allah also uh, defer them, separate them from each other. The kafirs among the Christians and Jews, okay? The kafirs among the Christian and Jews and the good people, okay? Non-kafir among them. So these are, brother Anton, you have to put these verses beside each other. As chapter 3, verse 7 says that, those who are firm in knowledge, they understand the true meaning of those verses, okay, like Kafir. Why they become, they be put these verses beside each other, okay? Like I played from the beginning, Matt de la Hanti take the uh, chapter 4, verse 89, says that, oh, here it says that go and kill, uh, you know, disbelievers. They just take one verse, like ISIS do as well, they take, just take one verse of Quran and say, this is all. You have to put it beside other verses of Quran and see that, no, no, chapter 60, verse 8 says that do not fight those who do not fight you, okay? And all these things, and I read for you, I don't know, if you check the, the beginning, you, you can go and check it. Anyway, Anton? Um, well, I mean, I understand what you mean, but uh, 
for example, the verse that Matt Dillahunty pointed out, mm -hmm. uh, d don't you think the fact that it's uh, there uh, at all is a little bit problematic? I no, mean, Anton, Anton, I read for you. I read for you the rest of that after that. Okay, it says the next verse says, let me bring again uh, for, here was it, 489. Okay, next verse says that unless, after that it says that slay them and so on, say unless, the next verse, it be such of them who seek refuge with a people who are joined with you by a covenant. Okay, so who are these people? joined with you by covenant they are not muslim they are non-muslim okay so so unless they surrender no unless they go to those people these are the people who are fighting you yeah so unless they go to those people and re take refuge there so that they are safe they are not going to attack you or those who come to you because their hearts shrink from fighting so what happens they, surrender. they don't want to fight they no they don't want to fight anymore so they don't well, that, believe, that's surrendering. Isn't yes, it? they don't want to fight. Yes, it is about fight. Okay, look, fight, continue. Yes, look. It says, uh, uh, shrink from fighting either against you or against their own people. Okay, they don't fight against, they don't want to fight against anybody. Had Allah so with, he would certainly have given them power over you and, and they would have fought against you if they leave you alone look yes say if they leave you alone and do not fight against you and offer you peace then allah does not permit you to harm them so you see that if they give you you know leave you in peace allah does not allow you to fight them just because they disbelieve i'm sorry it is very obvious understand uh, chapter 8 verse yeah, 61 I... and if they incline to peace, then incline to it and re rely upon Allah. Indeed, it is he who is the hearing, the knowing. Chapter 2, verse 190. Fight in the cause of Allah only against those who wage war against you. But do not exceed the limit. Allah does not like transgressors. If you want, I can read for you, for you many verses that Allah doesn't allow us. Chapter 60, verse 8, which I read, Allah says that Allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you because of religion and do not expel you from your homes, from being righteous towards them and act, acting justly towards them. Indeed, Allah loves those, those who act justly. Uh, Anton, I understand here that Allah does not, in chapter 60, verse 8, Allah does not allow me to fight you. All right, yeah. Brother Rashid, would you like to say something while An Anton fixing it? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, yeah, if you look at the, at the passages, they actually tell you, they actually tell you exactly what the context, what this conversation is, re is regarding. I mean, you have to read the first pass the passages from verse um, what is it, eighty eight, right? And then you continue on. It's a continuous conversation. There, Allah cautions the the mu'minin, the the mu'minin, and He tells them, "Fama lakum fil munafiqin fi atain," right? What is the matter with you regarding the munafiqin? So these are the hypocritical groups of people. They were not living in the city itself. They were living outside on the outskirts of the city. And here, the people were in two groups regarding them, right? Uh, they did not know what, uh, what to believe about them. Are these guys truly or are, are they faithful? Are they not faithful? Are they... Uh, true to their promise to us? Are they going to betray us? So there's different camps regarding them. Allah tells them, what is the matter with you that you are broken up into two camps regarding the munafiqin, right? Wallahu arkasahum bima kasabu. When God has made, has requited them for what they have done. Then it says, aturiduna antahdu man Allah. Is it that you want to guide the one whom Allah has let go astray? For the one whom God has let go astray, then not even you, Muhammad, can find a path for that individual. Then it says, what do lau takfurun? Now it's talking about these munafiqin. It says, they hope or they wish 
that you Muslims or you Mu'minin would do kufr, right? Kama mm kafaru, -hmm. uh, just as they did kufr. Fatakununa sawa, so that you would be equal. So they want you to all do kufr just as they did kufr, so that you all could be equal and you could be the same. Then Allah's command now comes, do not take them as allies. This was a situation of who can we ally ourselves with and who can we take a pledge from. It was a matter of allegiance and who can we trust. That was the thing. So here Allah says, Do not take them as awliya, as allies. Until they immigrate in the path of Allah, which means that they were not in the city. They were actually outside. So the Prophet, Allah is standing in there. Look, because they're outside, you don't know what's going on. Maybe they're talking to you, but they're also talking to the other side. You can't know exactly what's happening. So instead, do not take, they do not ally yourselves with them that this group of people don't ally yourselves with them until they actually immigrate to the city. They actually come to this city and they live in this city because that way you can uh, monitor, you can know if they are really on your side or not. Mm -hmm. And it says that uh, but if they turn away, that means that they refuse to ally themselves with you. Uh, they, choose, they choose to go and, and ally to uh, another people. Right? Then it says that uh, because then the, that means that they have declared war on you. Uh, that, that's just what it means that because they have allied themselves with other people whom you are at war with. So that means they are by proxy, proxy they are yeah, also, also at war, war with you. Yes, yes. 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 Um, let me check. Uh, okay. yes. Ah, yeah. Anton. Yeah. So yes. it's by, by proxy, that means that they are also at war with you because now they have allied themselves with the other people with whom you are against whom you are at war. Mm -hmm. So it tells you that in this particular case, then all uh, combat uh, methods of combat apply. And gives on sees them, sees them and kill them wherever you find them, wherever you encounter them. And do not take anyone from among them as a wali, as a, an ally, or as a helper. Because why? They have made the decision now. Mm -hmm. Now it's the Akkad. They have decided to ally themselves with the enemy. So now it's, uh, are, you, know, you cannot trust them. Mm -hmm. Then it says, Then it says, except from among those who yasuluna, they attach themselves to a people between whom and you there is a mithaq. So that means that if there are certain groups, certain people among them who didn't ally themselves with the other people uh, against whom you are fighting, if those sorts of people, for example, they go and they ally themselves with another people with whom you have a treaty, with whom you have a peace, a, a, a pledge of peace, a, a, a treaty of peace, then you're supposed to leave them. You're supposed to... Uh, you're supposed to leave them alone. And it says, So we have this, this group of people again. One group went over to the other side, to the enemy. Another group, they decide, some of them decide, okay, you know what, we are going to ally ourselves with this group of people whom there's a connection, there's a treaty between us and them. And some other people might come to you saying you know what we don't want to fight you we just want peace we don't want uh, to anything to do with this mm -hmm. okay then the quran tells you that those people if they ally themselves with other people with whom you have a treaty or they come to you with their hearts and their chest not wanting to fight you at all then allah tells uh, tells us that uh, and and it doesn't just say they don't want to fight you but not only that but they don't want to fight their own people okay not just they don't want to fight you, but they also don't want to fight their own people. If they come to you, then you're not supposed to. Uh, you're not supposed to fight them. Those ones Allah has not given you uh, authority, and Allah tells us, "Walau sha Allahu la salatakum alaykum falakatalukum." If Allah had wanted, He could have given them authority uh, over you so that they fight you. Fa ini atazalukum falam yuqatilukum wa alqaw ilaykum salama 
If they instead do i'tazal, if they decide to just leave you, just leave you alone, they don't want to fight you, as you said, Muji, and in that case, you know, uh, and they offer you peace, then Allah has not appointed for you any way against them. Then it says, you will meet other people. You know, this is this is the situation has to be understood. The multiple tribes, there are multiple groups of people. Not everybody thinks alike. So here, it's dealing with multiple individuals, multiple people. Mm. And it tells Satajiduna Akharin, you will meet others, right? Other people, you manukum, who want to be secure from you. They just want security between you and the, uh, 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 between you and them. And they also live peacefully with their own people. They live securely with their own people. Then it tells you the problem is that the only difference is that though they want to live with you in peace, it turns out that every single time that is some kind of turmoil, some kind of disturbance, they get thrown into this, into the fight, not because they want to, but they just get pushed into the fight and they just get included into the fight, though they want to stay away from it. So then Allah tells you, what do you, what do, you do with those people now? Those people, Allah says, Those people, if they do not leave you alone, that means that now they have been thrown into this turmoil, into this fighting thing, but they don't want to. If they decide not if they decide not to leave you alone if they decide to actually go ahead with fighting you and they decide not to offer you peace and decide not to restrain their hands hold keep their hands to themselves and says then in that case you know all methods of war are applying then seize them and kill them yes. So that is those people Allah has given you a clear authority. So the 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 conversation, the context is very easy to understand. It's yes. I, I won't understand why anybody would have a problem with that. The the verse the verses not cause any issue. This is can this can be understood from any point of view, but the, but only, the only difference, difference is because, because it was found in the Quran. The problem. So people have trouble. They, 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 when it comes to the Quran, it can say something very clear and very like reasonable. But because it is found in the Quran, people find problems with it. If you were to take that situation out of the Quran and you were to put it in the real world, nobody would have any problem. Yes, with I how think, people yes. brother Rashid, I think because uh, the translation usually say disbelievers, okay? Mm -hmm. It called them disbelievers. That's why they say, oh, he's talking about disbelievers and so on. So that's the most problem. 